everybody, my name is Savannah and welcome to another Planet Zoo video. In today's video, we're going over the top five contestant winners from our recent Discord build contest, Respect the Reptiles. If you're unfamiliar, every once in a while I hold Planet Zoo build contests. Each contestant has a list of rules and parameters they have to stay within while they're creating their exhibit. And this time was Respect the Reptiles. So every exhibit that you're going to see in this video today is going to have a reptile friend in it. And as a special little twist for the first time, these borders that the builds had to stay inside of are much, much smaller than I've given builders in the past. So we're gonna see what kind of creativity each of these contestants could cram into their very small parameters. So if you're interested in joining any future build contests, we're actually going to be doing one for Prehistoric Kingdom relatively soon. Go ahead and head on over to our Discord. The link is down in the description below. And that way you won't miss out whenever I announce the next Planet Zoo contest. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at our fifth place winner. In fifth place, we find ourselves outside of this completely enclosed exhibit. The name of this build is called Mates Not Monsters by Crazy Goat Guts. And as we go ahead and walk in and take our first look, I'm going to go ahead and read you the description. Ooh, I love it. The use of the little butterfly netting uh, plastic strips. It's not netting, plastic strips. It looks like we have a little pamphlet here, I think. Very cool. This build is very close to my heart. There are lots of stigmas around reptiles. Not only are they often seen negatively in society, even the scientific community seems to favor doing bird and mammal research while reptiles can show us some incredible things. Mates Not Monsters tries to highlight some of the cool scientific discoveries that have been found with the limited reptile research we have. And what better place to highlight this than a country famous for its reptiles? The education around this immersive Australian exhibit tries to highlight things humans can relate to and appreciate about these incredible species. Because people protect what they love and they can only learn to love something if they know about that thing. Oh, and don't forget to grab yourself a Mates Not Monster quiz flyer at the entrance of the exhibit. Okay, so that's what that was, little quiz flyer right there. Look how pretty this is. I love that it's completely enclosed. Gorgeous, and I'm always a sucker for Australia builds. Something about just this orange with the contrast of the blue and the green. Something about it just works and I just love it. Now I'll go ahead and put it on the screen because Crazy Goat Gus was actually creative enough to create a real Mates Not Monsters quiz sheet that they sent over to me. So I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen while we're taking a look around. It's got some questions. How many can you answer? Just for sake of time, I won't go through them all, but while it's up on the screen, go ahead and pause and let me know down in the comments how many you think you got correctly. Now we're gonna take a look down here at the underwater viewing section first. Look at that, that is awesome. I love the shadows that the roof casts just as detail through the water. We've got some of our crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles swimming around in there. Sign says crocodile waters. I'm assuming that is like an out, there's more quiz flyers there. So I'm not gonna go out there because I imagine that is the exit. But if we go back up here, you can really see that the majority of this exhibit is meant for guests, education and learning, which is fantastic. The crocodiles are really confined to this area over here. Now you guys know the drill, we're gonna be a bad guest. We're gonna go right on through the glass and over into here where it is not safe for us at all. But I wanna take a good look at, oh, a clipping crocodile. <laughs> I wanna take a good look at this little backstage building. This is so cute. And I'm wondering if there's anything inside of it. So just out of curiosity, uh, no, there is a keeper staring off into nothingness. Have fun with that. Somebody's having a bad day. 
our little crocodile over here swimming around. They really do have lots and lots of water space as well as some land and rock space. Look at all this area where they would come out and bask in the sun. Reptiles obviously need to thermoregulate with the sun, so lots of space for them to come out here. We do have a little like barbecue area with the little like koala barbecue thingy uh, that came in the Australia pack. Very cool. Somebody is drying their clothes out here. Very cool. Let's go back on through here and inside here. Look at all this education. <gasps> oh my gosh. If we save our wild places, we will ultimately save ourselves. Okay, fun fact about Savannah. Savannah cannot read anything or think about Steve Irwin without getting teary eyed. So I'm actually not going to read that too in depth. I'll read it on my own time when I'm not filming. Um, but I get teary eyed and I cry because Steve Irwin was actually the inspiration for why I work in the animal field. And I get really emotional thinking about everything that he's done and all that kind of stuff. So I love this. Absolutely love this. But look at how cool all of the education is. And this is all real education written out here, like real facts and everything. The pixel art, super cool. Uh, I will, I'm just gonna look at each of these things very briefly and you can pause it and read it because unfortunately for sake of time, I don't have time to read everything, but I'm just in awe of how much detail was put into like this map making and everything. This is gorgeous. And what is this? Little something on the table. Is it? Like, um, oh goodness, why am I blanking? It's a uh, microscope. <laughs> goodness, microscope and research. That's really cool for like people to come over and look at. Or is this meant to be like a research station maybe? So maybe this isn't open to guests. This is just the research station part of it. Either way, absolutely gorgeous. We've got some more little exhibit reptiles here. Little snake, a snake, snake there, snake there, snake there. Perfect. Very, very cool. All right, let's hop on all the way out and take a look. As you can see, this is a completely enclosed exhibit. Such a good job. Thank you so much, Gus, for entering as always. I love seeing everything that you come up with and I'm so appreciative that you enter these contests. Very well done. Let's go ahead and jump over to our fourth place winner. In fourth place, we have the Swamp View Motel by Zoosaurus. The Swamp View Motel has definitely seen better days. What was once a beloved tourist stop to view the mystical Floridian swamps now lays abandoned. Is it the spread of international hotel chains or was it just that word got out about the alligator infestation? You decide. Let's go ahead and go in here first and see if we can't check in. Look at this, you did an interior. I love the little cobweb details all over the place and the dirt and grime that's around like the floor and the windows here. We've got a little bookshelf there. Very, very cool old little lantern. Look at the keys hanging on the wall. Very cool. This is very detailed inside. I always love when people do interiors because I hate them. <laughs> we have a little shed and wheelbarrow over here. Very cool. Love the use of the Arctic pack stuff. It really lends itself well to kind of abandon broken down buildings because of the color and the detail on it. Look at this swamp. I love it. Oh, there's our friend swimming around. Very cool. And all these willow trees look really pretty. Really, really pretty. And let's go around over here and let's see if we can do this without clipping, aha, we just have to like sprint through the door, but we do have interiors on here. We've got a knocked over little planter there. Look at the inside of the window detailing, little uh, table and a bed. This is so cool. I'm so impressed that you actually put things in the hotel rooms because I would build something like this and each room would be blank. They would not have anything in them. So very good job on that. And then we have more of our little friends swimming around down there. Let's go over here and I'm going to actually go into the swamp area because I want to see. Can we just go through here? Yeah, I want to see the details in here. So we've got this rickety broken little bridge. All those guys swimming around over there. Very, very cool. I just want to know if this leads anywhere or if it's just a little, little detail. No, no, it's just a little detail. It's over here to this little island part. 
but we've got uh, sticks and stuff sticking around, all this foliage. It all looks fantastic. Look at that shot. What a shot with the sun coming in. I love this time of day, like the, the almost sunset kind of thing. It looks fantastic. Let's head over here, see if we can see anything else as we swim through the swamp. Very cool. A little further down than I wanted to be. Let's get back to the surface here. Ah, uh, there we go. There's land. <laughs> such a cool build. And such a cool, um, you know, like little story. I love when everybody adds like a little personality or detail to their builds. Very, very cool. Let's look at this from up top here. Really cool. Yeah, congratulations on your fourth place. Let's see, are, is the upstairs the same? Yeah, so upstairs you can see each room has a little bed. Perfect. Love the interior. Yes, what a good job. What a good job, I love it. Now remember, these are all on the workshop already. So if you do want to download them, play with them, their links are down in the description below. Show the creators some love because they are they are incredibly creative and very good builders. So let's move on uh, to our third place winner. In third place, we have the Cayman Jungle by Jesse Mo. Welcome to the Cayman Jungle. It is located in the middle of the Amazon rainforest and prides itself with the education about this wonderful creature in its natural habitat. Come along and immerse yourself into the world of the spectacled Cayman. Walk along a dreamy rope bridge surrounded by the ruins of ancient temples and the lush Amazonian jungle, or feel like you're swimming alongside them in the underwater viewing area inside an old temple. When you continue your way through the underwater viewing, you will reach a small bamboo cabin filled with information all about this amazing reptile. Enjoy your stay in the wonderful nature of the South American jungle and relax with the calm sounds of the rainforest far from the stressful situation of civilization. You may consider viewing at night to watch the Caymans hunt for food as they are mostly nocturnal but they can also be seen in daytime. Now, I didn't want to start walking anywhere because our first uh, thing we come to is options, underwater viewing, rope bridge, and information center. Let's go ahead and check out the rope bridge first. Look how cute this is. I love, this is obviously like the default railing that comes with this ground, but look, it is, it's attached up into the trees by rope pieces. And I love how it kind of winds through the trees. It's not totally straight. If we look down here, we get our first glimpse of the caimans swimming around. And just look at all the detail put into foliage and all of the trees. It's so pretty. Let's keep going down here. I think it's a dead end. We've got our first information up here on the left. Yeah, so we got a little information sign, but what a good little viewing point. You really get a good overview of the habitat from up here. Very cool. All right, let's go back to the front and let's go down to the underwater viewing and the information center. Wow, look at this. Look at how ruined it is in a good way. <laughs> so we can see them swimming around they've got their little feeder going very cool where did they go we just saw them oh there's one right there and there's one over there the spectacled came in oh look at him go he just went real fast so cute the spectacled came in are so adorable i need to build for them more because they're so so cute look at that so so cute all right let's go up this way continue to the information center so much foliage so cool we have our little bamboo house oh look at the butterflies and all the lights i love the detailing with all the lights and everything because especially since we're viewing it at this time of day all the lights really serve to kind of emphasize some of the things that you've placed down but look at all this information look at this custom information board excuse me look at this custom information board that's really cool. I love when you guys put effort into custom information and stuff like this. It always looks so cool. We've got our little Cayman sign down here. Little buttons. I'm imagining, you know, maybe you press a button and it, it talks about each topic on here, which is very cool. Always love interactive stuff for guests. Uh, the keeper went back here, so I'm assuming this is where uh, stuff is. I mean, if it is, it's probably around the corner. So we'll go back here. We're a guest. We don't belong back there. 
We have some conservation signs here, which is perfect. And then uh, a little information lady. Hello. <laughs> Buy some pamphlets, things like that from her. Very, very cool. All right, now we get to be a bad guest. Let's go ahead and zoom on in here. Look at this little boat right there. Very cool. There's their little freshwater drinking area. We have some enrichment, a little uh, fountain there on the floor. Look at their little cave entrance area here. I'm assuming, yeah, this is where the keepers get in from the back here, but they've got some shelter. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Oh, he's adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very cool. Nice little flowers everywhere. Nice added color too with these purple plants and everything. Very cool. All right, let's jump out and take a look at it from the top. We really can't see much because like, look at how densely packed all the foliage is, but that really serves to kind of immerse you in this little environment, right? Like we really don't see a lot of the background like this when you're walking around. You're kind of in this little capsule of an environment and it's really cool. I love it. Very, very well done. Thank you so much, Jesse Mo, for uh, participating and congratulations on your third place. Let's go ahead and jump over to second place. And in second place, we have a builder that is no stranger to our build contest, Jananas with the Cayman Cavern. Welcome to the Cayman Cavern, an immersive experience that will leave you going, oh snap, as you get eye to eye with the dwarf Cayman. Meet the whole family as we recently welcomed the new babies, Inacio and Ta Taquito, I think. Taquito, is that how you say it? <laughs> oh, mom and dad are so proud, you'll see. Surrounded by the lush greenery, stunning rock walls, and magical underwater scenery, you won't even notice that you're actually not in a tropical forest. Whilst on your walk around this cavern, you might even encounter some smaller friends. So stay on the lookout and enjoy your stay. So cool. I love the outside of this already. And we'll go and take a look at it from the sky when we're done touring on the inside. But the amount of detail that you pack, I just can't believe. Every builder, really. I shrunk the uh, border in an attempt to challenge everyone. And everyone just just blows me away with how much they can cram into such a small space. But check it out. We are completely enclosed in a single building here with our dwarf Cayman. So let's go down this way and take a look. Oh goodness. These are the stalactite uh, rock pieces, stalactite, stalagmite pieces upside down look really good as, as mud walls with the roots and the uh, branches sticking out look even better. Definitely looks like you're in a, uh, a tropical rainforest. We've got some water down there. More details on the wall. Keep going down. We have our first education. Ooh, I love this. This is so cool. So obviously the glass barrier here and then with the rope pieces just outlined on top. That's such a cool detail. Oh, and a green floor. I love the uh, decals around the edge to add a little bit of gunkiness, a little bit of realism, right? Not everything is pristine and perfect. We get a really nice underwater look. Somehow they got a tire from somewhere. <laughs> nice little underwater look at these guys. Very, very cool. We have some smaller friends, like they were mentioning. Our iguana friend here right in front. Let's go over here and, and take a look at the face. Hello, little guy. You're a chonkers. Geez, I don't think I've uh, looked at these guys up close in a while, but that one is, he is rotund, but very cool. Awesome. More education here. Little sign here. I'm imagining this is maybe education on, uh, on fossils. That would be pretty cool. Detailing down here, more planting. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Donation box, speakers up here, little camera for security. Make sure nobody is misbehaving. Let's go back up top because there was uh, a little upwards. Whoa, going too fast. Going to run into the wall. Little upwards area here. I also meant to take a look at this guy. This is another little iguana friend right over there. Not quite as chunky. Still as cute. All right. Bamboo detail. Love this as the little fencing to keep people from falling over. Let's go up here. I do not know what's happening with the camera, but apparently we did some lunges up those hills. 
Very cool. Look at that. Up there, they have a little uh, mud rolling pit. How the heck do they even get up there? I can't tell from here. We're going to be a bad guest and go in there in just a minute. Because it looks like there might be some backstage stuff. How you get there, I don't know. But is it going to freak out if I try to jump off this? Oh, it just won't let me. Okay, great. Let's go back down and maybe we can enter through the glass from the underwater viewing area. Or we could follow the keeper, but I like this idea better. Let's go under here. Very cool. Oh, look, we have a little camera underwater here to take a look at them. Let's see if we can't climb these rocks. There we go. Perfect. Oh, okay. So they have a little, they have a little stairway up here. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. Can you hear them over my talking? Their noises are so cute. There was one going down the stairs too. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, he's just going to lay in the little mud puddle. He's got a little fountain. He, she, I don't know what it is, but cute. Oh, we've got our little backstage area. This one coming out. That's really cool that they can actually use this. That's a pretty small opening. A lot of times the uh, traversable areas or the hitboxes for the animals are way too big. Very cool. Okay, so we have a backstage for their back holding area. A sink for washing things. Beautiful. This gate is so cool. These little details are awesome. We have everything that they would need back here. Buckets, shovels, boxes. These mats are really cool. Are these mats? These are the rugs, right? Hold on. These are the rugs? Yeah, Indian carpet. Wow, those look perfect for like non-slip rugs. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but that is awesome with this like rubber edging and then the rug in the middle. That looks beautiful. Oh, we've got the entrance for the butterfly walkthrough habitat. Very cool. Oh, I love the amount of detail. And then if we jump out here, you guys can see it is completely enclosed and there is no lack of detail on the roof either. This is just great with the ladder for people to get access everywhere. There's a ladder over here to get access to the solar panels. Very, very cool. Are these solar panels like made of what? What are these made of? One-way glass panel. Is that one piece? We're going to take this. Oh, no, it's not. Why would it be one piece? That would be too easy. That's so cool. All right, let's put it back. We don't ruin things. That's so cool. That's what I suggest you guys do. If you're ever looking for inspiration or not sure how somebody built something, download it from the workshop and start taking it apart. Look at the pieces they used. Very, very cool. I love it. Love it, love it. Good job as always, Jananas. Thank you so much for entering another contest and congratulations on your second place. Now let's go ahead and uh, jump over to our first place winner. And in first place, we have Respect the Reptile Contest Entry, a very informative title by Unicorn Dream 88 And they took a very interesting take on the contest in that there is absolutely no guest area whatsoever. This is entirely a habitat and they're the only ones to use my circular border. So very, very cool. You can see here we have our little monitor friends hanging out on the little island. They've got a really big swampy area with lots of foliage around. Such a well detailed circular habitat. If we stand right here, we can see how pretty the light is coming in here with this center focal tree going up through the middle there. A couple other trees. My my favorite Mapingo tree is here. <laughs> I love it. Little guys swimming through. They really do have an expansive amount of space. But just look at all the trees. So well thought out too. Like look at this little thing here that they can go underneath a little log vine rope thing. We do have an exhibit animal over here. Which one is this? Um. Oh, he's right there in front of me. Uh, it's our chunky little iguana friend doing his little head bobbing motion. Very cool. And it looks like it was built to try to make it so you can't see that it's actually an exhibit animal. So I think that's pretty cool. It's got like a rock base around the bottom there. Little cave underneath. I don't know if this was intentional or not, but that's kind of a cool place for the little monitors to uh, hide in. Absolutely gorgeous. I haven't actually built for these guys, I don't think, before. 
And I don't know why not. Look at how pretty they are. Oh, okay, bye. He says, I don't want to be on camera. We got a little baby right there. Very, very cool. We've got a little bit of enrichment. I believe I saw like a scratching post. Yeah, right over there. Or is it the, is that the feeder one? It's either like the rubbing thing or the, yeah, it's the, the little log thingies that they can rub against. Look at the tree going up. Very, very cool. If we jump out and take a look at this from above, you can see everything fits in this circle. Very, very well planted and foliaged. Similar to a couple of the other ones where you kind of go in here and you're in a little, little encapsulated environment here where you really kind of don't pay attention to what's on the outside. So what a beautiful, beautiful habitat. Congratulations on your first place. The lighting looks gorgeous right here. And thank you guys so much for all of you that entered. We will be doing these in the future. So if you're interested, you do need to join in our discord. The link is down below. And of course, all the links of these builds are down in the description so you can give them some love, download them on the workshop for yourselves, and put them in your projects. But until next time, remember to hit the subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and comment which build was your favorite and why. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!